The Apple Magic Mouse and Apple Magic Trackpad both give you that seamless Apple experience that we all know and love, but they have some big differences between the two. And in this video, we're gonna discuss the differences between the Magic Mouse and the Magic Trackpad and which one might be the right device for you. Both of them are super precise and easy to use and they offer Apple's built-in gestures that you can activate using two or three finger swipe and you can control all of these different gestures and what they do directly through System Preferences Mac OS. You pair them to your computer using a lightning cable and you can also pair them to an iPad, but to do this you have to shut the mouse off and then back on, go to the Bluetooth settings on the iPad, and then it'll be available to pair. Once you repair it with the computer, you actually have to forget the mouse on the iPad in order to reconnect it. So neither of these are very great devices in a multi-device setup because repairing them is a little bit annoying. Both the Magic Trackpad and Magic Mouse make it really easy to browse and scroll across your Mac computer because there's no physical buttons to use on them. You just swipe with your fingers and that allows you to seamlessly scroll. It's just such a fluid motion and all the animations on Mac OS are super smooth as well. So it feels very natural to use both of these mouses. The Magic Trackpad is about double the size of the Magic Mouse, but you just have to set it in one place and then you're good to go. The Magic Mouse, you need a little bit more space to move it around. Unfortunately, neither of these are very ergonomic. They both kind of cramp your wrist up, and so you'll find that you need to take a lot of breaks and maybe even use wrist cushioning when you're using both of these mouses. I do see some people use these in a side-by-side -side setup where they have both the mouse and the trackpad, and that allows you to change your hand positioning up more often, which can lead to better comfort and less repetitive strain. But if you're gonna do that, I don't really think these two complement each other super well. Both of these have all of Apple's great scrolling features built straight in, but they don't give you super good ergonomics. So if you wanted to use a trackpad side by side with a mouse, I would probably just recommend buying the MX Master 3S because that gives you better wrist positioning while still allowing you to use the Magic Trackpad for simple scrolling and smooth gestures with Apple's Mac OS. Another big difference between the two of these is you can actually use the Magic Trackpad while it's charging. The Magic Mouse you can't use while it's charging. You can get the Magic Trackpad and the Magic Mouse in both black and white, and the black version is more expensive on both of these. The Magic Mouse starts at $80, and the Magic Trackpad generally starts at about $130, so it's almost double the price if you wanna get the Magic Trackpad over the Magic Mouse. So keep that in consideration as well when you're deciding which of these you should buy. Both of them are very precise and easy to use with Mac OS, and I enjoy the experience of both of them in different ways. If you're a trackpad person, you'll probably like the trackpad better, and if you're a mouse person, you'll probably like the Magic Mouse better. And again, neither of them offer very good ergonomics, but both of them offer incredible integration with Mac OS. So my recommendation is to go with the Magic Mouse if you're looking for more precision, and if you wanted a mouse to use on the go instead of using a trackpad on the go. Because then when you're using your computer in laptop mode, you can always use the trackpad that's built straight into your MacBook and the Magic Mouse on the side. I would go for the Magic Trackpad if you're wanting to have the trackpad features while using on a desktop setup, whether you're using your computer docked or if you have a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio, it's a great option for that. But don't buy the Magic Trackpad if you're wanting to use it on the go because it'll take up a lot more space in your backpack due to the extra width of the mouse. If you're interested in buying a Magic Trackpad or a Magic Mouse, I have links in the description below. And I also have links for my more in-depth reviews of both the Magic Trackpad and the Magic Mouse in the description below too. If you think I missed anything, or if you have any more questions about the Magic Mouse or the Magic Trackpad, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them.